I'm Sue. I'm Julia. And welcome to Sticks and Stones Podcast. On today, episode 49 of Sticks and Stones Podcast, we're going to be catching up with Julia and Sue as we see what fall crafting they're working on, and we're going to do a roundup of fall crafts you can do too. Please join us. Thanksgiving, yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Don't say no. that word, not yet. Halloween. I have a list that long to get done for Christmas that's not going to get done. It will. <laughs> no. Oh, the wait, will. wait till I tell you about my project lineup and then tell me that. <laughs> okay. I can't wait to hear. Okay. I can't wait to hear. So, uh, yeah, it's Halloween, which means I've been working on Halloween costumes. Mm-hmm. How about you? Yeah, I ran out yesterday and I picked up the remaining pieces for a couple costumes and apparently I am supposed to be a monster or a person being turned into a monster by a mad scientist. Really? So yeah, this was all middle child's idea. Um, So I had to buy some things to make me look like a person turning into a monster. We'll see. Pictures forthcoming. (laughs) Can't wait. Will we recognize you? You will. You'll recognize me, but it's not going to be gross monster. It's like fluffy, cute monster. Uh But I am... I ran out and tried to be creative at Joanne Fabrics yesterday. So nice, it, nice. I haven't been there in a while. It was fun. Mm. All their fleeces on sale. Nice. What time of year for it? Mm-hmm. Well, I was frantically making costumes last week because the kids had a costume party to go to, and so my one is going to be Draco Malfoy. Ah. So I had to make a Slytherin tie. Okay. So I had to create it from scratch because. Finding a silver and green tie yeah, that's kind of hard. So I made that. It, it kind of got goofy down here, but it's, it's uh, you know, one of those things. It's harder than you think to make mm-hmm. stripes mm-hmm. because of the way it... What did you use? Uh, I just used fabric, but then I, I put a uh, fusible backing on oh, it, which okay. is why there's a little crease in it. But okay. he's wearing it underneath his cloak so you can't see it, so he was okay with it. Cool. And, you know, I started this at 9 o'clock at night one night, and I was just like, okay, we're going with it. Yeah. (laughs) Because I cut strips diagonally, and then I sewed them together. But as I was sewing, I realized you have to sew them on a slant. So I'm thinking that maybe I could have cut straight strips. And so, you know what I mean? You have to, instead of sewing them all evenly like this, to get a diagonal, you have to sew them off-center, really. That makes sense. To get so that you can cut it on a diagonal, mm-hmm. which I didn't, and I I was halfway through it, and I was like, I'm not starting over to figure it out. So, or maybe next time use the fusible webbing and just cut diagonal strips and iron them on. I could have like that instead. I could have, but this looks really nice. It looks like a clown tie. I think. <laughs> I also <laughs> had to make job, right? a well. I I used a robe and cut it down that I bought, you know, at a thrift store, but mm-hmm. then I had to make a Slytherin badge. And it's not quite complete because I really wanted to embroider all of it. Mm-hmm. We'll see if that happens. Mm-hmm. I might just do it with magic marker, but we cool. at least got the basics. We have the green and the silver and the mm-hmm. basics there. So we have that. I was helping my daughter with a steampunk costume, cool. which is mostly her doing. And then for the first time ever, I needed to make a costume for my dog. Did it work out? It did work out. That's I nice. have pictures to prove it. Um, <laughs> and he was in a parade this weekend, so this is his Batman costume. That's fun. Um, and actually, the cape, I think, when we put it on him, it looks like Dracula. So I uh, I made the Batman part Velcro on so that he can be Dracula. Oh, okay. or, uh, he's a seeing eye puppy, yes. and so we march in a lot of parades, and they encourage us to dress up. I've never dressed up my dog. Mm-hmm. So in the future, another dog can be Batman or can be Dracula or <laughs> Whatever it a wants witch. To be. Or, I, you know, this is really, really versatile. So anyway, <laughs> it was actually the dog's costume was the easiest, which I expected to be harder. But I wanted to make him a mask. Yeah. And that's kind of hard because the way a dog's face is shaped, you can't just put a elastic around it. Right. Most of them have hoods. I was in the you know the pet store looking at all the pet costumes trying to figure out how to do this, but most of them that have a face part, it's a hood that okay. goes over their it's ears, right over the top. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Did anyway. he didn't have one. 
He didn't because you know he has a black mask because he's a German Shepherd. Right, right. So I kind of I might work on it for um, for trick or treating because mm -hmm. he's gonna probably go trick or treating. And uh, we have a friend who's dressing up as Batman, so we might end up walking with him. So cool. being Batman. And there's actually a bat. There's a cartoon that Batman has a dog, and the dog's name is Ace. Oh, fun! And he talks like this. <laughs> and he's always fighting justice. Yeah, because Superman has a dog too. His name is Crypto. I, had no I idea. like Crypto, but sometimes Crypto and and Ace uh, work together on cases. And there's uh, so much about Crypto is like kind of goofy, know. <laughs> but. That dog, Ace, he talks like this, just like Batman. <laughs> you did that well. <laughs> I had no idea. We're been watching um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and they oh. keep throwing in like all of these different characters and they all kind of, like suddenly, that and Once Upon a Time, I'm like, how do they get these stories to intermingle and make sense? I know, there's a lot of it, creative minds going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is pulling in Avenger, all yeah. the Avengers movie. Yeah, yeah Avenger. I keep waiting for the X-Men to show up, but they haven't. <laughs> Maybe that's a different, I don't know. No, I can't it's keep a my, different world. I can't keep no, my DC No, 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 you don't cross the streets. Sorry. Don't cross the streets. Oh, yeah, I'm bad at that. Anyway. We have a, a Jedi who's going to be in all black because the new Luke Skywalker wears all black, apparently, in the new movie, which I'm not completely for sure about, but that's what he says. Well, the last Luke Skywalker was the Jedi wore all black in the okay. last. Okay, well that's what we'll when go with he, then. When Luke Skywalker, I, I don't really know where this movie's falling in the whole yeah, scheme of things. Either. But he, so he's wearing the black Luke Skywalker outfit because he got... Jedi swords for his birthday. So that's that was pretty easy. I just had to buy uh, like a hooded robe for that. And then I have the mad scientist. And that's going to be the, she wants me to Kool-Aid dye her hair blue. Which her I think real hair. Her real hair blue along the tips. And then use freezing, freeze gel to make it stand up so it looks like she's been electrocuted. <laughs> wow. So that, and that's the one that the monster goes with. And then the third is the all popular black cat. Oh. So, yeah. That's easy. Is she using her 3D printed she is. ears? And 3D printed uh, glasses too with whiskers that come out the side. They're really cute. Wow. Yeah. So fun with, fun with plastics. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, pictures forthcoming. I think it's going to be a fun Halloween. Definitely. Or They're was at the point that you guys see it. But yes. Yeah. Uh, but I actually was working on some other stuff too, which is mm -hmm. amazing. Only because I went away for the weekend. <laughs> I went away with my friends to the beach, okay. and so we were hitting things with hammers. So we made those other earrings, the, the, that was our DIY, so we were experimenting with other things. I made these, oh, and I fun. think they're a little delicate. I'm afraid that if I put them on, my hair is going to get caught in them, and when I go like this, it's um, going to mangle them. So I'll, I have to put some sort of a, bl a backing on them. Okay. Um, Those are really, did you use your new little sandbag for these? I did to shape them. Yeah. That's what I used. So I, I flattened them on the um, steel block, but mm -hmm. then I used the sandbag to shape them. Cool. So I made those. I made, started these, which I saw. Oh, I just dropped a bead. Okay. Because these aren't complete. They didn't have the beads there that I wanted. Oh, I they're see. hard to see, but they're little question marks. Oh, okay. And then, you know, basically I made the ear wire part of the wire. Which, uh. using copper, my ears will turn green, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> so anyway, so those need to be finished. Those are cool. And then I just started making some other shapes as well. I made these music notes that I'm going oh, to nice. make into a um, necklace for my daughter because she really likes oh, music. Yeah. That would be a nice idea. We're putting beads on those too then, or no? I Is don't there... know. Well, I started with music notes, and then it was time to go home. So... I hit those really hard. Actually, it was really fun because we were at the beach and um, they had the the uh, the dunes are right out in front of us, mm -hmm. and then beyond that is the ocean. Mm -hmm. And so they had these, you know, the like the railroad ties and the big um, logs to okay. keep the sand from coming in. So we just put our block on the oh, good idea. on the top of the log, and we were hitting that so you could watch the ocean. And it wasn't too cold. No. Nice. Not during the day. It was it was nice. Actually, even at night we had um, we had a really good time. And then I also made these. These are just rings. They're just flattened rings. And okay. so I think I'm going to do some sort of a jump ring thing, and connect them in a necklace in some sort of funky yeah. design. But Does again, this make it more. No, you said that hammering it makes it less fragile. Uh, at to a point, and then there's a certain point at which you hammer it too much and it becomes fragile. Again. Okay. So. Um, yeah, so 
Anyway, so that's what I've been working on. And while I was there, also, I bought this guy. Oh, that's cute. His little inspiration for the holidays. And I thought, maybe I'll make him some little felty friends. Yeah. But, yeah, he's really cute, isn't he? That's very I cute. I love that someone knitted him a scarf. <laughs> there was actually a little tiny one, too, but I didn't oh, get him. That's very cute. So. Nice. Yeah. So, a little peek ahead. We'll see if I have time to make him some friends. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. What about you? Uh, I've been plugging along. Um, like I said, my Christmas list is about that long with things I'd like to do for people, but the hours of the day never seem to quite match up. So I'm, I am getting somewhere though. I finished one of the afterthought heel socks I showed you guys last time. Oh, that's cool. I like the colors. Yeah, so that's done. The colors almost match your scarf. It's the same thing from last time. Well, it's a theme. Ah. Theme, theme. And there's the second toe. So I just started on that little guy. Um, and I have grand plans to make a single sock for two of the kids. If I can get one sock done, then the other sock will get done in, in January. Nice. But, so I, the, these are grand, as I say, grand plans because I'm still working on, and I've gotten a lot done, working on my daughter's birthday shawl. And uh, this, I still have two weeks to go. So it'll get done. I'm, I'm positive of that. If you can help me pull it out here so people can see because it's kind of tangly at the moment but there's nice. the idea this is actually a, supposed to be a flat top so the curve is down here at the bottom oh, um, okay. so this part it's a little bit more like this little thing at the top I'm not thrilled with but I think when I block it maybe some of that will flatten out so the top will go flat and then this part will come down so it'll be a semicircle or you know shallow triangle Nice. And all those colors. So we're getting there. You did a great job of combining the colors. Yeah. Well, she, like I said, she picked them out. So it's just a matter of putting them together. And really, I'm impressed with how with how it's turned out, out so far. I wasn't completely sure it would work. So, but that's kind of a lot. Ah, you're part. always an ace with the needles. <laughs> so those are, those need to be done. Okay. Yeah, part of me really would like to because it's knit a sweater in a month, month, of course. Um, Why do two? people, I have to ask. Pause. Okay. Why do people put these things in November? I don't, you know, I was thinking about that. Because Nano, do you know what Nano Remo is? That's what it came from. Yeah. Nano Remo so. is National Write a Novel in a Month. Mm -hmm. And my husband did it one year, and it was the worst month of my life. <laughs> because one, November is a short month. There's only 30 days in November, mm -hmm. April, June, and September. Yeah. Um, and you have Thanksgiving in there. Yes, you do. Where you have really, if most people cannot accomplish their 500 words a day, during when, things, yeah, when you have guests. Thanksgiving, if right. you've guests or you're going somewhere. So I just wonder why we chose November to make it Nano Remo. Why didn't we choose like August when people take off and you know you could take off and write? Mm -hmm. That's so a, that's a very good question. Well, somebody I don't know who decided it'd be good to go along with it and have it be knit a sweater in a month. Month. So is that for all the wives who are sitting around watching their husbands <laughs> say? Could be. Or all the spouses. Maybe right, it's right, all right. the men watching their wives type and um, saying, okay, let's all do something together. Anyway, yeah. on pause. Back to the <laughs> sweater month. I'm such a supporter. Can you tell? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen because quite honestly, like I said, I have this list that that is a priority. But I, I got this yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't how that how they all start? Yeah, this is actually but really I got nice. this yarn. I know. And it's so soft. And it actually it's it very is. soft considering very this soft. is um, Knit Picks Brava Sport and I got it. It was one of those things that you put in an order online and they send you a free, like, it was a grab bag. I didn't know what I was getting. And I got a sweater's worth of this. So wow. it's not, it's, um, it's 100% acrylic, so it's not like top of the line yarn, but it's really soft, and I figure, you know what? It's sport. I'm going to use it. So I'm going to make, um, I'm going to try to make a short sleeved open front, uh, I guess, butt length sweater. That's my thought. That if it's not, doesn't have a whole front, it'll take less time. Short sleeves, it'll take less time. So maybe. We'll see. But that, yeah, we'll see. Nice. That's the idea. Go that. go for it. I'm such a supporter. Can you tell? <laughs> I mean, like, you got yourself into this. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I, I mean, that's the thing. You can stop if you want You to. can. And that's kind of how I'm feeling that I can get, at least I can get it started. And if I have the time and the energy and I want to do it, then I will. Otherwise, like, it's because the stuff I do for presents tend to be on bulky weight yarn, tend to be things that I can do a little quicker. 
um, because you don't always know how well the presents are going to go over. Um, Sometimes people will like throw the hat in the closet or whatever and it'll be lost or the cowl doesn't fit right or it's not quite your style and so I figure if I make it on big needles in a smaller project then if they don't like it or they don't wear it it's not as much. It's not as big yeah, a deal. Yeah, right. Understood. So, so those I can usually, if I really work, I can get some of those things done in a day or two. So, check them out my list. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. How many things do you have on your list? How many relatives do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have two done already, so that's good. Um, I'm working on the third. Well, I would like to do one for everybody, which would be two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wow. people. Wow, you're ambitious. Like I said, we'll see. <laughs> if they, but if they don't get done, they don't. It's not like they won't get a present. They just maybe won't get the handout this year. Right. And I'll save that for next Sorry, year. Sorry, I didn't get yours done. You didn't get. You don't yeah. get anything. You must have been bad this I'll year. Make that, but I try to make sure, like, if I'm giving a handout to one side of the family, everybody gets one there. So I'm, I block it off so that, you know, and it's not like they've never gotten. I don't feel too bad at this point. I've been making them gifts for ten years. That if they don't get one this year, they'll get one next year. Right. Be okay. So, yeah, it's a nice thought. That's the plan, kind of. <laughs> but it's fall, Good luck with that. not Christmas, so let's enjoy fall. <laughs> I'm excited for Christmas this year. Why? I just am. You're bringing it back. <laughs> Sorry, I am. That's why I'm talking about it. Yeah. I get excited about every other year. You know how you have those years where you're like, oh my god, the holidays are coming. Ah, I have so much stuff to do. And then other years you're like, Holidays are coming. I have so much to do. I can't wait to like bake cookies and do this and do that. And Good. This year is one of the Good. up years. <laughs> All right. So today we're gonna do DIY. We're gonna just do kind of a fall craft roundup because mm -hmm. most of the fall crafts are pretty simple and straightforward that we don't need a step by step. Right. But they're um, fun. But they're and fun. They're pretty and yeah, you know something maybe you don't unless you go searching for it. Sometimes you don't think about what you can do with those things outside. Right. So. Yeah, it's really gathering stuff from outside and making it into decorations for mm -hmm. the fall. So come back and join us and we'll show you what we have up our sleeves. Yay! All right. So, so it's fall and we thought we'd do some fallish stuff. Fall fun. What did you What did you make over there? Oh, I have. I made a leaf bracelet that is actually part of a. It's from a wreath. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is a work in progress. I made this leaf bracelet that actually is part of a wreath. I only made three of them. They're supposed to be like nine or ten. Um, and then I wrapped a kumihimo braid around it. It's something, uh, a little kit I bought at Rhinebeck um, to use up my scraps with. And it's just a, a real thin braid. Um, I think it's eight strand. Uh, so I put them together to make a bracelet. Fun. That's, that's a leaf thing. I love leaves. Can't help it. Leaves are just, they're so beautiful. They are. They are. So you came up with an idea for painting on leaves. Oh yeah, I did. I found this on Pinterest and I, so I made a little shiny leaf. That's fun. We can do lots of different patterns. The, the pictures, of course, are... The people out there are amazing and I'm not when it comes to painting, but you know... So be it. It's fun. And have a good time with it, right? You can just make whatever you want. And what are you doing? I'm working on felting an acorn. I saw this last year and I just think it's so cute. Is using a real acorn cap and yeah. then having a felting piece. I'm going to glue this in here this eventually. Um, and I just think it's so cute when you have a whole bowl of these and all these fun, funky colors that are not <laughs> acorn color. I painted my nail. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you could do that too. Um, it is. It's really cute. So I made one, an orange one and now I'm working on a, um, a purple one. Cool. And fortunately in our neighborhood we have tons of different um, kinds of acorns. So you can get all different kinds of caps. And I like this one. I can't wait to do this one with the double. Yes, that'll be cap. really neat looking. That'll be fun. Now, what are you going to do with these? Just have them be decorations, or? Yeah, just put them in a bowl. Cool. But you made an acorn. I did actually. I made this one, and I was going to needle felt it, but I could not find my needle, so I wet felted the little ball, and it worked pretty well. Um, I just took some roving and pulled it off, and then rolled it in my hands under the water until it kind of stuck to itself, um, and I drilled a little hole through an acorn cap and put a head pin through the bottom of the earring and here it is. So I have a little acorn earring now. That's really cute. Yeah. I think, honestly, I think these would work best if you do needle and 
What? Wet felting. Okay. Because they end up with all these little, I don't like the little hairs coming the off of them. Yeah. And well, I mean, I use this block, so this a lot of times felts to it rather than the brush. Um, but I think it would be fun to, I was just thinking about that before, about maybe at this stage I'd do a little neat wet felting to mm -hmm. pull all those fibers in. Um, but we'll see, maybe. Cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then you were talking about your leaf thing, and it made me think, hey, I have all these little white pumpkins. Right. And so I That's started decorating really a little white pumpkin and kind of got carried away with lots of dots. dots. But it looks cool because it has gold on it, so it looks like a very sophisticated pumpkin. Maybe one that Cinderella would use to get to the ball. I think that painted pumpkins are kind of popular now, too, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen a bunch of them. Instead of carving, that people will do the painted instead. Well, we might have to do that this week because uh, we haven't carved our pumpkins yet. No, we haven't either. And there's not a lot of time left here before Halloween, so i got to talk to the troops this week and see if they want to just get some for decoration. They're probably going to want to carve them and roast the seeds, which I like to do, mm -hmm. but I'm like not really seeds. sure what day I'm going to fit that in this week. Right. Well, I'm not uh, sure this is quite Oh, I like it. it. kind of reminds me of little cattails. That's fun. To an extent. That's fun. There are so many fall crafts out there. You just have to take a few minutes to search Pinterest, right? Yeah, actually that looks much better from far away than it does up close. I really like that. <laughs> I like the silver against the color of the leaf. I think it's really fun. Yes, it is. It's really pretty. They used white on Pinterest, didn't they? Um, it's either white or silver. I can't really tell for sure. What they do is make it very even, and that's where I have difficulties. I tend to not be a terribly... Very symmetrical? Yes. Look at that, you're putting a poinsettia on a leaf. You know you want the... <laughs> Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Right? Exactly. I'm mm. totally copying because I... Surprisingly, I mean, I, I have thoughts in my head, but I have a difficult time getting them from my head to paper. Look at that, isn't that cute? That's very cute. I like acorns when they're long and skinny like that. Now, what color goes with purple that Blue. I can make? So when you make these, I have roving that I use. And um, it's roving that's in a little ball. And you only really need about maybe like two inches or so. Yeah, I didn't use very much for mine either. I started with something bigger. Because I do tend to like my felted stuff really, really firm. Mm -hmm. But it was taking too long, so I started over. <laughs> It all depends. It depends on the size of your acorn, too, because you can get acorn caps that are really big. Right. Right. I think that these will just be kind oh, of cute. that's fun. I'm wondering if I can tape them to the window, like my front windows or something, and have Plus, them be Plus, the uh, suggestion is that we Mod Podge them then, correct? Uh, yes. If you wanted to keep them forever, you could seal them. Or glycerin. Yes. One of these years, I'm going to make a glycerin leaf wreath. Oh, yeah. And uh, I keep talking about it, and then I forget. So, yeah, these are really nice. The hardest part about the earrings was getting the hole through the top. I think if you had a nice, like a diamond drill or some kind of drill that wouldn't um, crack the acorn and it was very small diameter, that would be a whole lot easier to just zoom through. I used a, a round file and just kind of like screwed it until it went through and it took probably 20 minutes per cap. So you, that would take, it takes a while. And then I was afraid I was going to break them. This one cracked a little bit, but it's still okay. I think if you drill slowly, it tends to go a little bit better. Yeah. You can't drill fast because then it will crack. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to do one more leaf and my collection will be complete. Four different kinds. I just fun. love the colors. Yeah, that is. It's fun. Lots of fall fun. I love these white pumpkins and the things that people do with white pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw one where they either they spray painted a um, doily stencil on it, or they used a black lace um, pantyhose. They oh. kind of wrapped that around, and it looked really neat with the black over the the white. I think the little the boot pumpkins are just beautiful. Yep, pumpkin carving is. Like the counterpart to dying Easter eggs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of when you start doing stuff like this. 
You know, you can just dye Easter eggs or you can make it all funky. Yeah. In different ways. All right, here we go. Simple is best sometimes, right? That's right. Oh, that's fun. I like just it. Following the veins into the different corners here. And they had a couple more. And put little dots on the end. It's like a little stick man leaf. Yeah. Yes. Again, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they're investigating an alien writing and they have little dots like this. And my mind is like, oh, it looks like S.H.I.E.L.D. I've been spending too much time watching sci-fi. I think I need to felt this a little bit more. A little bit. That is so but it's cute, cute. Though. I know. They just make me smile. I'm just going to put them in a bowl mm -hmm. in some place where I see them all the time because every time I look at them with all their cheery colors, because yeah. I love acorns. They're so pretty. Yeah. I like that one. That's really good. See, you could be on Pinterest too. <laughs> Simple as best. So, yeah. Fun. Well, if you have any fall crafts that you think are really fun, please feel free to share them um, on our Sticks and Stones podcast at WordPress.com because mm -hmm. we love to see what you guys are working on. And next episode is episode 50. Episode 50! We finally, finally got there after all this time. Um, so we'll have some some fun new special things to reveal yes. to you next time. Maybe some things to give away. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be it'll be a good time. Yeah. So make sure you're you're setting aside time for it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Nice. So cute. So cute. That is very cute. You could actually that reminds me of, of like Christmas balls too, or like the lights too. Yeah, well, I have seen them made into garland. Mm -hmm. Again, you have to drill, and then that's where it goes from simple craft to uh, getting difficult. out power tools. Yeah. <laughs> Though that can be fun as well. Yes. Take out your aggressions one way or another, if it's pounding or if it's drilling or whatever. Yeah, it's a good time. So, But thanks for joining us today yes. on another episode of Sticks and Stones. And we're looking forward to seeing you for episode 50. Happy fall. Bye. Bye.